Um, now, uh, I sort of alluded to this a moment or two ago, a special ramble is taking place along the North Yorkshire coastline this coming Saturday. People with brain tumours, their families and supporters are going to be walking along the cinder track between Scarborough and Whitby. Spectacular section to walk. They'll be raising money and, I suppose, awareness as well for the Yorkshire Brain Tumour Charity. This group, which now looks after Ellie's Fund, uh, was set up in memory of uh, Scarborough girl Ellie Othick, whose fundraise, who fundraised after being diagnosed with an aggressive brain tumour. Sadly, Ellie died, but her legacy of fundraising certainly does live on. And I'm delighted to say that Ellie's mum, Heather, joins us on the show this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jonathan. Um, tell me a bit about uh, Ellie's Fund and uh, how it, it works now. Um, well, Ellie's Fund, about five years ago, we started handing over the day-to-day running of Ellie's Fund to Yorkshire's Brain Tumour Charity. They are the biggest brain tumour charity in Yorkshire, so who better to look after it? Um, we now fundraise as and when we can, um, and um, the money that we raise as Ellie's Fund goes towards supporting um, older teenagers and young adults um, and very much towards um, towards research um, into brain tumours. Um, and the money from... The, when, when Yorkshire's Brain Tumour Charity said that they were going to be doing this ramble um, this weekend, it fits in so well because it's, it's, Ellie, it's Ellie's birthday tomorrow. She would be 27 and we always used to, as Ellie's Fund, do a birthday walk each year. So I couldn't not be part of this. It all fits together absolutely perfectly it, date-wise, it doesn't does. it? <laughs> it does. Tell, tell us a bit about Ellie. Um, she passed away, as you say, quite a long time ago now. Um, it's almost 13 years ago. She was diagnosed with um, a, a grade 4 glioblastoma when she was just 11 years old. And the doctors gave her six months to live. Um, she defied them all the way and she lived for th- uh, just over three years from the date of diagnosis. Um, and uh, along the way, she decided that she wanted to fundraise for people who had helped us through our journey. Um, so she started fundraising. Her and her friends raised about £12,000 in one week. Um, and before she died, I believe she'd raised about, around about 25000 Her friends and family wanted to carry that on. And Ellie's Fund, as a standalone charity, has ra- uh, raised around three hundred and fifty thousand. A third of a million pounds. You must be, you must be so proud. Um, and looking back, obviously with huge sadness at, at the loss, but uh, the idea that someone whose young life was cut short has achieved so much and continues to inspire people. Yes. Yeah. It's. Yeah, it's it's very humbling. I am so pleased that we have been able to support research. I am so pleased that um, Ellie's Fund was able to support 66 families across Yorkshire and the Humber. I'm so pleased that we're part of Yorkshire's Brain Tumour Charity, and they they continue to do that. Um, and I, you know, I'm 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 just glad. I'm glad she lived. I'm sad she died. But I'm glad we we're able to 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 help others. Well, in you, spite you, of you, it. Cer- you certainly are. I mean, it's my understanding that she passed away. Was it on St Valentine's Day? She did. Yeah. Yes. And what kind of help? You know, you talk about supporting the families of those people who've been diagnosed with uh, with brain tumours. Do you know what kind of support those people get? What do they need? What did you need when Ellie was so poorly? Um, it's amazing what you what you realise that you need. You need help with everyday um, jobs when you're looking after a sick child or a sick person. Um, you you know the, the day to day things just become so much more difficult to achieve. Um, that um, Yorkshire's Brain Tumour Charity offers grants, counselling, support meetups, dropping drop in cafes. Um, they organise. They they can support with benefits advice. Um, the grants that we provided, um, if it was something from that somebody needed, they might need fuel to get to, to, to appointments. You know, people along the Yorkshire coast live a long way away from the big hospitals that support people with serious illnesses. And it costs a lot of money for fuel for, for all those appointments and hospital stays, etc. So our grants provided whatever people needed and Yorkshire's Brain Tumour Charity is very similar. 
fabulous that there is a, a fund like that that can step in and help people out. And I should say this is very close to us at BBC Radio York because it's not that long ago that we we lost one of our colleagues and uh, very good friend uh, Dominic Busby who also had uh, a brain tumour. Uh, so, you know, we, we can sort of begin to identify a little with uh, what some folks, including yourself, go through here. Tell me about the walk because uh, I think the cinder trap between Scarborough and Whitby is a rather beautiful and possibly even bracing walk, but how many people are joining <laughs> joining the walk? Um, I believe there's about 50 sign-ups at the moment, um, and but there is still time. If anybody would like to join to join us, there is still time uh, to sign up. You can go to um, you can Google um, Yorkshire Coast Ramble, or you could go to Yorkshire's Brain Tumor Charity website. Um, it's 21 and a half miles from start to finish. But we, along the way, we're going to be stopping at Cloughton, Haven Wyke, Ravenscar, Filing Hall and Robin Hood's Bay. And there are people either finishing, choosing to finish at some of those places or choosing to join us at some of these places. Um, if anybody does the whole walk, if you, if you do the bit that finishes in Whitby, you get fish and chips. Um, you just got to put your order in before the day um, and a medal. Uh, there'll, be, there'll be fundraising support. There's drinks en route. So we're just we're hoping for a good day of weather. If it was if it's like today, it's not too hot, um, but it's a lot drier than it was yesterday. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. It's good to know that the, there are those opt in and opt out moments for those that want oh, to absolutely. walk part of the route. <laughs> but I think you, I think Heather, you just used three magic little words that go to the hearts of most Yorkshire people: fish and chips. Yeah. Um, <laughs> listen, I hope it goes extremely well. Uh, you certainly raising awareness of uh, you know the, the need for more research into uh, brain tumors and the need to support those those people whose lives are affected by them and uh, keeping Ellie's memory wonderfully alive and fresh with people so thank you so much indeed for joining us and very best of luck with Saturday's event thank you very much thanks for your time thank good you. to have you on the program this morning that's uh, Heather um, mum of uh, Ellie who passed away from more than 10 years ago now but her memory lives on and uh, you'll find uh, more details about the walk if you're going to do the whole 21 and a half miles of it on the uh, yorkshire brain tumor charity website or maybe you could just decide to do a smaller part of the walk and as you've heard if you get as far as whitby there's fish and chips in the offing as well and a medal too <laughs> <laughs>